I'm about to check in at Mount Albert Lodge. We're here at Beaver Lodge. Beaver Lodge is the name of the cabin. We wrote in the book last year. All right, I'm gonna take you down to the river. Right down this trail. So when you stay in Beaver Lodge, this, that right there, is your own personal fire pit on the river. You can see the cabin through this little clearing from down here. You may notice that I'm wearing the same thing in like every video. It's because I've dedicated this blue hoodie for campfire smoke. So every time I'm gonna be around campfire smoke, I put on this hoodie and these pants. Oh, and this hat. Hey, look, the moon. Where we're at is so remote that for me to upload a video to YouTube, I have to pack up my laptop and drive to Leadville, which is like a 30 minute drive, get my cell phone and turn on my mobile hotspot, and then connect my laptop to it and upload a video. I can't just do it from here. There's no internet and there's really no cell phone service. I really think it's cool. It'd be neat to live in a place where you just had a landline, so you only got the phone call if you were there when somebody called. It's awesome out here. I'd rather have this. And no internet, than have the internet. I can always drive to Leadville and upload my YouTube videos. Hey look, Amanda's playing on the rocks again. So these little cabins we stay in, they call them housekeeping cabins. So when you, when you leave, you just have to clean it before you leave. Clean up any mess you left. And then the next person after you does the same. The person that was there before you, you better hope that they did a pretty good job cleaning. Um, but when we got there, it's, it's all in order. All the dishes are clean, you know, everything's done right. It's kind of like you live in your own little cabin for a week. We, we really like it. I think I could like, I think I could live a life like that as long as I could drive to town when I needed to. I'm entertained just by looking at the mountains or watching a campfire so much like, more than watching a TV show or anything like that, I could just look at this. So we were gonna come out here a little bit earlier and make a small fire and just stand around for a little while. Um, and then it started raining. It rained for like 15 minutes. So we had our like fire clothes on and then it started raining and we took them all back off, put on some sweats just hanging around the house. And then I was like, hey, it's not raining. Let's go do that fire thing. <laughs> So we put our fire clothes back on, and now we're out here. It's awesome. It's not too cold tonight. I think the low is going to be like 32, which is a step up from the lows being in the 20s. When we were in Gunnison, one of those nights, it got down to like 15 or 17. But it's dry here, so it doesn't chill you like Texas cold. But I'm sure in the winter that it's like outrageous cold. I'm sure when there's five feet of snow or whatever, that it's really cold. I think Amanda's right. It's just so beautiful that you don't care if it's cold. And by the way, the last person did leave a nice fire stick here. Check this out. So I should have left my fire stick behind at the other campsite, but I didn't want to take a risk of not having a fire stick. These willows, they won't do the trick. And I don't want to have to like walk up the road or something just to get a fire poker. So for dinner, we're going to have chicken and green bean casserole. We were going to have mashed potatoes with it, but we're gonna have too much food with just those two items. For two organic chicken breasts here in Colorado, it was 10 bucks. 